making your first course a celebration. Coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. I'm super excited to share this recipe for this celebration salad. I want you to think of it for your holiday celebrations, birthdays, special occasions, whatever you have planned, this is a very, like it's a really beautiful first course you could take to table. I know everyone will appreciate your hard work. We're gonna start by preparing a vinaigrette. I'll post it as a City Slicker video as well, so head to our YouTube channel, Playlist City Slickers, you'll be able to reference the vinaigrette there. I'm also gonna make it here today as well. I have half a cup of walnut oil, use vegetable if you don't have walnut, one medium-sized shallot finely diced, a little bit of fresh chopped thyme, we have the juice of half of a lemon, teaspoon Dijon mustard, a teaspoon of honey, whisk everything together, I want you to taste it, get a sense of the vinaigrette, and then go back with a little bit of salt if you'd like, whisk again, and then transfer it into a container. I usually make the vinaigrette a day before I intend to serve, just so that shallot kind of flavor gets involved with the citrus and the oil. Now we're on to the salad. I use a vegetable mandolin to begin this uh, recipe, but you could do this by hand using a sharp knife. Cut off the two ends of one zucchini, and then we're running it through the mandolin or by hand to create these thin but very lengthy strips. Then you need to make two cuts. We're going to cut on one side halfway through and cut on the other side halfway through. So think of it as a strip like this, a cut here and a cut here. We'll ultimately be folding them together to form a little, uh, like a chimney that we're going to place our beautiful lettuces, fruit and vegetables in. Take that piece of cut uh, zucchini, place it onto a plate and now we're adding fresh greens. Microgreens are all the rage now. Get your favorite assortment together. So a little bit of arugula, some baby spinach, some oak leaf. I have some Boston bib. Add your favorite greens in, add some fresh vegetables. I'm using a little bit of red pepper. You could use carrot, parsnip, celery, anything works in the salad. And then also fresh fruit. I have a nice fresh pear, thin slices of pear. You could use apple, plums, anything again. Add the fruit and vegetables together. Then pull up the sides of the zucchini and it stands up now. Kind of looks like a vase with a burst of of, uh, fresh greens which I think is fabulous. We're then adding some cut uh, cherry tomatoes. Orange is a nice color contrast in this salad. We're going to place them onto the plate. I also have the jewels of this salad which are pomegranate seeds. When you crack open your pomegranate, remove the seeds, take off all those white bits, we don't eat those. Save your pomegranate seeds and now nestle the pomegranate seeds into the salad and then also put a couple down with the tomatoes. We're then going to do a little sprinkle of fresh mint. I think this is really lovely. So sprinkle mint on top and on the tomatoes and the pomegranate seeds. We then take our vinaigrette, give it a quick shake, and then drizzle it across the top. It's going to go down into that chimney, dress the greens, and then little tiny bits on your tomatoes. Last few things, a sprinkling of kosher salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper, and this first course salad celebration is ready to go to table. I know you're going to enjoy serving it and also enjoy eating it. It's very tasty. Looking for other tasty treats? Please head to weekendatthecottage.com, sign up for our newsletter. Also look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe, click for notifications, thumbs up, drop us a few comments. And then finally, why not have a chat with our head of social media, Carol Bogazzi. She's available on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I just gave you a reason to celebrate. All you have to do now is prepare it and dream up your next special occasion. Hope you enjoy. Take care.